keep clapping. Come on, it's our last contestant. Let's go for John Fuqua. Thank you. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, I took part in the very first Philly's Funniest Contest. <laughs> and came back year after year for five years. <laughs> Never once got to the next round. I finally asked the barman, do you think it's because I'm English? He said, no. I think it's because you're not funny. <laughs> but don't let that stop you. So here I am, uh, back again after 10 years. Uh, I came to America 26 years ago to marry a Jersey girl. Thank you. And we did the usual Jersey thing. Got divorced. <laughs> uh, it started to slide one day when my wife was driving me to New York and seemed tired and tense. When I asked what the matter was, she said, if you must know, I'm going through the menopause. I said, no, no, no. Go through the Lincoln Tunnel like everyone else. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, well, that was the end of the marriage, really, I think. So. <laughs> and, uh, I, am, uh, I am now American like you. I got my citizenship just two weeks ago. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I almost failed the English test. <laughs> I had to read out words in English with, you know, the correct pronunciation. So my first attempt was Italy, man, John, and Tuesday. They made me do it again. And I think I really nailed it the next time. Italy, man, John, and Tuesday. And that's how I became American. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I do try to fit in. I have a classic American car, a Mazda. <laughs> I bought it off a Jehovah's Witness. Now I can't shut the door on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, uh, thank you. And, uh, it is interesting being English in America. People always come up to me and say, I love your accent. It reminds me of a psychopath <laughs> in a Hollywood B movie. Have you ever killed anyone? <laughs> no. I love uh, poetry, especially the poems of Robert Burns, a Scottish poet who wrote um, Old Lang Syne that we sing at uh, New Year's. One of his poems you should learn has a fantastic title. It's called, Cock Up Your Beaver. <laughs> Ser seriously, Google it if you don't believe me. Robert Burns, Cock Up Your Beaver. <laughs> and it, and it's, it's very easy to learn. It goes, hey, Johnny, brave Johnny, cock up your beaver. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> because a beaver was a Scottish hat, and uh, you cock it up by tilting it backwards. <laughs> and uh, 300 years ago, Scottish soldiers always charged into battle with cocked up beavers. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, and, they, uh, and the English, you can't really blame them, just ran away in terror. <laughs> Uh, anyway, wh one last story and then I'm, uh, I'm gone. Uh, what you call an eraser here, in England we call a rubber. So I made a big mistake <laughs> when, 
when I first taught college in Jersey. I asked the students if anyone had a rubber I could use. <laughs> For a minute. All the guys shook their head. All the girls started looking in their purses <laughs> and waving these condoms at me. And as I gazed at this sea of waving condoms, I thought, what a nice way to welcome an immigrant <laughs> to America. <laughs> Thank you. My name is John Farquhar. You've been very good. Thank you very much. Goodbye.